Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video where I will try to introduce you guys to Diablo Immortal. Whether you're a longtime fan of the Diablo franchise or a brand new player looking for a very classic ARPG that is also on the mobile application uh, which can be played on iOS or on Android devices. You can pretty much also take this app, uh, game and play it on PC as well. It does, it does have a PC client. Um, it's definitely one of the better games of 2023 and I kind of want to explain to you guys why I think it's a game that's definitely still worth playing even though there are some very high beta win aspects to Diablo Immortal. Um, I think it's absolutely one of the top games that you can play right now, especially on a mobile device. Um, and if you've been following around, uh, along with a lot of the uh, current uh, hype around Diablo games, uh, you'll definitely enjoy Diablo Immortal um, to the same level as Diablo 4, if not even better, because again, you can kind of take it uh, on the go. For a lot of you guys that um, just want to have a little basics rundown on what the game is and what the setting of the game is, it's the Diablo Immortal essentially takes place five years after Tyrael destroys the World Stone. So that's pretty much your basic timeline for the uh, events that happen and uh, you know most of the game content that occurs in Diablo Immortal. So it's more of a precursor to Diablo 3. Um, but I over the last couple of months, they have been making some pretty amazing changes to the game. And uh, there are changes that I think are very good uh, for the longevity of the game. So I definitely think that Diablo Immortal will be around for multiple years to come, if not for the next decade. So I wanted to just go ahead and give you guys a quick little rundown on the game itself. Um, and hopefully introduce you guys to the game so that you can join me in on the fun. Um, and it's definitely a game that's worth playing for sure. So right off the bat, let me go ahead and back out of this screen here and I'll show you guys... Uh, some of the uh, basic creator uh, screen for the characters uh, right now you know you can essentially just play with one character which is really nice um, but you do have the option to also class change so i'm going to show you guys here the class change and explain to you really quickly what that that is and the benefit of having a class change so with the class change system you can create one character and pretty much level it, level it all the way to the end game. My character currently right now is level 834. Uh, and the little blue numbers on the right hand side are essentially just your paragon levels. Which after you hit level 60 you'll just accumulate a paragon level for every level that you do get as you increase. Uh, depending on the paragon level of the server you're in you're going to be either above or below the paragon level. If you're below the Paragon level, you're going to get a bonus XP to help you catch up to the current Paragon level of the server. Um, and then, of course, obviously, if you are uh, at the server level or above the server level, you'll get uh, reduced XP rewards, kind of like how I'm showing here right now, uh, that it shows that I'm essentially four levels above the Paragon level. Um, there are quite a few different bonuses to being below, uh, such as increased drop rate in items and things like that that you can use and gear that you can equip. Um, but I definitely recommend you guys to be above the server level just because you will end up finding better gear as gear does scale to your level. So that is one thing to keep in mind when playing Diablo Immortal. When you are advancing your character, you definitely want to try to stay somewhat above the server Paragon level just to ensure that you guys are staying, you know, up to the tip of the iceberg for when new content does drop. It'll help you kind of make it through the content a little bit easier. So uh, going back to the class change here, guys, once you do level up and you make it to the end game, there is always the best thing about Diablo Immortal, which is if you get bored with the class you're currently playing, you can switch to an alternate class at any point in time. Uh, there is a seven day cooldown for when you can class change, but you can class change uh, or revert your class change if you don't like the new class change uh, within that seven day period at any point in time. So, you know, you can always run the uh, game for a couple of hours on a new class. If you don't like it, you can always revert back to the class you chose. Um, and it makes it really easy to kind of like, you know, uh, decide what uh, class you want to play, especially without that penalty of feeling like if you choose their own class in the beginning, you're you know bored and you don't want to play that class again, you don't have to level up another character. Um, leveling up other alternate characters does have its benefits when it comes to character progression if you're trying to push for legendary gems, which I will explain in a little bit. Um, but essentially, it does not matter whether you have alts or not. You can always stick to one character in one class and uh, you know it's up to you guys. You can always class change at any point in time. Um, what I really like about Diablo Immortal is actually the play styles. 
uh, depending on the class you choose, you can also choose variable different types of builds uh, that you can essentially just uh, farm legendary gear and equipment that will give you certain set bonuses that allows you to play a certain build. So uh, kind of like how I'm showing right now, the game itself does have some different little recommendations as far as like play styles and things that you want to try. So definitely recommend you guys to just pick one class, level up, and then if you, you know, are not happy with the class you like or if you want to try something else don't feel like you're going to be weighed down if you make a decision in the beginning that later on you're going to, have to regret because believe it or not you are not going to regret any choice that you make you can always always try to catch up and change your character to match your play style and your current uh, mood in the future so definitely rec nice and easy uh, and very very fun aspect of the game that you can class change at any point in time it doesn't cost you any money it's completely free and so that's why i think it's probably one of the top features of diablo immortal that uh definitely caters to today's player where you know you just don't want to be uh stuck choosing the same character or, or, or you know having to re-level another character like most other diablo games so it's definitely a fun option that does uh, come with the game so definitely highly recommend you guys to try out diablo immortal just for that feature alone uh, you know, the, the amount of builds that you can have on a Necro or a Crusader or a Monk, you know, they're really, really fun. Right now, D Demon Hunter, the class that I'm currently playing, is probably my most fun class. Um, and I definitely have enjoyed it the most in PvP, uh, PvE as well. Um, another class that I really, really enjoyed is actually the Necro. Uh, and the Necro is actually unbelievably free to play friendly. Um, especially when you start to uh, consider gems and other items like that, legendary gems. Uh, so definitely recommend you guys to start out as a Necro. Um, the, every class has its perks, but Necro, in my opinion, is probably the most free-to-play friendly class. So, um, Moving on to the next thing that I did want to cover, guys, here is the fact that you do have uh, different types of gear that you will have to level up throughout the uh, story. Uh, the first one is going to be your secondary gear, which is here on the left. It's the green colored items. These items can be farmed from dungeons and also from Heliquary bosses. Heliquary bosses are essentially the endgame content uh, that you want to uh, you know, consider upgrading your gear so that you can stay com competent in the Heliquary bosses and the raids. Um, and, and the raids are actually really, really fun. So on the right hand side, you have what is called your legendary equipment, your legendary set gear. Uh, these are random items that drop in world farming where you're killing mobs and things like that. Um, they drop off of goblins. Any mob can drop these legendary gems. Um, and then Diablo Immortal has a ton of uh, available content for you guys to do in which legendary gear will drop at any point in time. So definitely the legendary gear is where you're always constantly going to be replacing and changing items. Um, and you'll start to see these little green arrows show up on your gear uh, when you do have an upgrade available. So it's not like it makes it really difficult for you to figure out whether or not an item is something that you do want to upgrade to or choose. So the game itself allows you to kind of very easily visually understand what is the better gear for you as you do progress through the game. Uh, so definitely something that's really fun about it and every time that they release a new legendary uh, gem set uh, and uh, legendary uh, gear set they will provide you with a different play style so the game is constantly evolving which makes it another really really fun thing to uh, consider when playing Diablo Immortal uh, right now like I said I really like the demon hunter uh, right now I have this little like wind uh, setback bonus that allows me to like knock opponents backwards so it's like really really fun for me uh, so just something to consider guys when you're playing the game you know as the, you choose your class they will be constantly adding new legendary sets uh, that will give you different types of play styles as well so definitely an, another bonus feature of uh, diablo immortal and why i think it's a game worth playing in 2023 so uh, right now on the right hand side guys you will see i have four sets of weapons um, when you do start to play the game if you are a new player you will see you only have uh, six which is you're going to be your helm your chest your shoulders legs and the two weapon slots the other two additional weapon slots you'll actually get when you hit paragon 800 and you move to uh, difficulty uh, level inferno and as you guys will see here i'm showing the difficulty levels as you progress through the game as you level up your paragon levels you'll essentially move up in difficulty throughout the game itself and so it's definitely one of those nice and easy things where as you progress to the game, you will know where you fit uh, depending on your combat rating and the type of gear that you have. So that's pretty much the whole point of Diablo Immortal. It's to 
constantly keep upgrading your gear, constantly level up. Um, but the thing that's really cool about it is that they're always releasing new events and new things for you guys to do. So um, the I talked briefly about the Heliquary Gauntlet um, and about the Heliquary Raids. And the Heliquary Raids are actually really, really fun. Um, the game itself has uh, two different features. One is called the uh, Clan feature, as when it comes to social aspect. There are there can be up to a hundred members in your clan, and uh, the clans are actually really nice. Uh, the, the, there is a lot of uh, chat, there's a lot of communication, the, the chat feature is actually pretty nice and smooth. Uh, just uh, in overall in general, Diablo Immortal does a very good job about being a very socially interactive game, which is another reason why I think Diablo Immortal is so much fun. Uh, so aside from the clans, there is going to be another uh, social aspect, which is called the Warband. The Warband essentially is just a group of eight individuals uh, that you party up with on a more constant basis. And then you join up together with those eight folks and you participate in the Heliquary Raids and the Heliquary Gauntlet. The Gauntlet is, a, Gauntlet is exactly what I just explained. It's just, uh, you know, four bosses all in one and you basically just uh, kill one and move on to the next one and get it all the way to the end. And when you do complete that boss, you'll essentially get uh, certain rewards such as, you know, cosmetic sets. Uh, things like that that make the game a little bit more fun. The, obviously, the Heliquary Gauntlet is going to be extremely challenging, uh, but it's definitely something that you should be able to do uh, when you get to the end game level. Uh, there's always going to be very nice people out there that are going to party up with you uh, and join you and uh, help you defeat content, which is another reason why I think Diablo Immortal is so much fun. Um, it's the fact that there are so many nice people that actually do enjoy playing the game. Uh, like even the whales, you know, they're very friendly. Uh, I have yet to encounter anybody that was nasty or not fun um, when it comes to the game itself. Um, everybody's always very useful. If you need help clearing a certain amount of content or if you're looking for other players to kind of, you know, just play around, do bounties together, do quests together. Um, everybody's just always been really, really amazing. So it's another reason why I really, really enjoy Diablo Immortal is the community aspect and the social aspect of the game, which honestly, I feel like they've perfected. Um, so I definitely think that Diablo Immortal offers probably one of the best um, social aspects of the game as far as like, communicating and just the overall friendliness of most people. Um, one thing that I also like about Diablo Immortal is the uh, filter of bad language and things like that. Uh, they do a very good job of preventing certain things from being said or just to, to you know, keep the social niceness and fairness of communication, uh, you know, to treat everybody as equals type of thing, which is another really awesome thing about Diablo Immortal. So uh, definitely something that I think uh, is probably one of the top factors when it comes to mobile games and playing games in general. And one of the best things about Diablo Immortal is that social aspect. So not only are you leveling up your character through various amounts of uh, content and difficulty levels, um, but you'll always have that social interaction. War raids, for example, the warband raids and heliquary raids, uh, they're usually done two times a week, which means you'll get together with those people two times a week to do the heliquary raids. Um, and then obviously uh, next to that, you'll also have your clan content. Clan content uh, is really fun. You have the Shadow War in which once a week, everybody basically battles out against each other uh, in a uh, type of PvP battle in which uh, you guys essentially just uh, destroy uh, an immortal enemy. And uh, if your clan beats that immortal enemy, then you guys will essentially move to the top dark clans. Uh, right now, my clan is in the top 10 dark clans of our server. Uh, so it's definitely a really fun thing to do and, and there can be up to like a hundred people in that raid which is really really fun so it makes it really more like social interactive thing um, and the sh and the the raids themselves um and the shadow war is actually twice a week it's on thursdays and saturdays so another thing to kind of keep you like super busy and super fun another thing that exists within the game uh, for clans is also the control of towers control of towers the accursed towers is actually really fun uh, you essentially your clan picks two towers to defend um, each week um, and you or up to two towers that you can essentially keep for the season and you essentially can uh, defend that those towers um, every week clans can challenge each other for control of the towers different towers give you different bonuses so it's definitely uh, a really another fun thing to have when it comes to clans that there's just so much interaction socially and so much community involvement that it really draws you in and makes it really really fun to play the game uh, so 
Um, again, really, the, the best thing about Diablo Immortal is going to be that social act interaction, but also the in-game play of the game itself. Um, it's really easy to navigate the world. Um, you're going to have um, every single day when you log in, you're going to have uh, quests and bounties that are repeatable um, and that you can do uh, throughout different uh, weeks and days. And depending on, you know, the uh, uh, available information or the, the quests that are available, you're going to be able to choose them around here. So like right now, for example, I'm showing some of the quests that you can pick up. I've already picked them up. So all I got to do is travel to the area, uh, complete that task for that day or that and uh, you know, just collect my rewards. Uh, the bounties are really good and the, the regular daily quests are really good because they do have a high chance of dropping legendaries, um, different types of scrap metal and scrap gear that you can pick up to level up your gear slots as well. Uh, that is something that I haven't yet spoken about, but as you guys see here next to my helmet, there is a number 16 underneath it. Uh, that means that this particular set slot is at level 16 and the maximum is level 30. Um, on the left hand side you'll notice all of my secondary gear is already at level 15 and that's essentially the cap level currently in the game for secondary gear. Um, you definitely want to be leveling up your gear as you progress through the game and obviously that number uh, does correlate to a lot of different bonuses and perks that you can get by leveling up your gear. Um, so definitely something to consider when you are playing the game is you definitely want to upgrade your secondary gear. Um, as I'm showing here on my screen, the upgrades for my secondary gear there give me 122 combat rating, 61 vitality, and 61 strength. Obviously, depending on your class, you're going to have different set bonuses. Um, so that is something to consider. But I highly recommend you guys to level up your main gear because it is going to give you combat rating. And combat rating is absolutely everything when it comes to Diablo Immortal. Um, if you are uh, essentially doing end game content, you want to want to have the highest combat rating possible. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you guys here my combat rating. I'm currently sitting at 19,953, which allows me to basically do most of the content in game. Um, but as you're moving on to the harder Heliquary raids and the Heliquary gauntlet, uh, you're going to want to have something around like 20,000, 21,000 uh, combat rating currently in the game. And it's very easy to increase your combat rating, guys. So don't feel like, you know, you're going to be uh, set back. Um, currently, there are a couple different uh, things that kind of prevent you uh, from moving up too quickly in combat rating. Uh, one of them is going to be your warband bonuses. As you complete Heliquary raids and, and things like that, you'll actually end up getting a little bit of extra combat rating. So if you haven't done combat ra or warband raids, you're going to be slightly behind uh, some of the current content. Um, but it, it does take time, but over time you will make up some of those differences and will try to catch up some of that combat rating. So, uh, you know, definitely try to aim every week to try to level up as much of your combat rating as possible by leveling up your gear slots, by increasing your set gear and things like that. Um, another thing that I actually did want to go over uh, is the legendary gems. And I'm going to pause here real quick and show you guys my legendary gems. But first, let me move it out move out of the way here just in case i get attacked by some mobs uh, but the legendary gems are essentially the pay to win feature in diablo immortal um, legendary gems are extremely difficult to acquire uh, they can be either a purchased through an auction house system or they can be acquired through the elder rift system so let me go ahead and take you guys real quick to the um uh, Elder Rift just to show you guys a little bit about it because that is essentially the only negative thing that I have with Diablo Immortal is the difficulty in getting legendary gems. Um, legendary gems provide you guys with several different bonuses um, and it also provides with something called uh, gem resonance and the resonance really is, is what gives you your power. As you guys see here, my total resonance is at 2770, um, and that is essentially just driven by the value or the, the type and um, skill of the uh, legendary gem that you equip. Uh, the legendary gems can all be leveled up. For example, this Bottled Hope here is rank 4, uh, this Blood Soak Jade is rank 5. Um, one thing to say guys, like I said, the, the, the gems are really difficult to acquire. Uh, right now, you have to run... Uh, basically 50 crests, these, these legendary crests, to get um, one minimum legendary 5-star gem. So what I, what I mean by that is that right now in the game, there are these gems here that I'm showing on the screen. 
that are that can be uh, five stars then you have these other gems that can only be two stars then you have other gems that can only be one star these five star gems are that uh you know minimum um th there's kind of like a i don't want to call it a uh hard cap uh, but it is almost like you you can only get one of them every 50 crests that that is these the um what do you call it the soft um i'm getting lost here with the confusion and the um it, it's essentially a pity system you can get one uh legendary five star gem uh, every 50 crests that you run um that can be completely random but is essentially every 10 crests so uh and there are three different types of crests which i also did want to explain the rare crests essentially only give you a small chance of finding a, a legendary um gem and they can only be one and two stars the legendary crest which is this orange one can give you uh the five star gem and the internal legendary crests are purchasable only uh you can get them from this vendor right here next to the rift um you can buy them essentially with these orbs that are purchased from uh real money um so it's up to you guys whether or not you want to buy them but like i mentioned you can buy these gems with platinum uh, you can essentially buy this legendary eternal crest, which uh, gives you a gem that it can be uh, sold on the market. Or you can purchase this rare legendary crest, which is orange colored, that can only be used by you, which means you cannot sell it on the auction house. Uh, so that's essentially it for the crest. There are three types of crests for the legendary gems. Uh, you have a small chance of acquiring these uh, legendary gems that you can equip onto your uh, gear slots. Um, and they give you different bonuses. Gloomcast is a really good gem, and you guys can. I will definitely be posting up other videos on, uh, you know, the best gems that will belong with each class. So definitely stay tuned, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you do want to see some more of this content. Uh, but I definitely will be giving you guys a very good rundown, a very in-depth rundown of each gem and what it does and why it's good for certain classes. Um, but that is essentially in a nutshell what the uh, crest system does and, and the, the way that the gems work. Um, I do have 10 legendary gems, so I'm going to go ahead and run one with you guys on this video to show you guys a little bit of the game and also to uh, try and see if I can pick up a, a you know rare uh, five-star legendary gem. Um, you know, depending on the crest that you have, you essentially just can run them with other people. Uh, depending on the crest that you have, you will get these AST runes which you can use to craft legendary gems so you know you're not limited to only picking them up from the rift um but uh the, the ast runes can be used to craft them as well so again that pity system that kind of kicks in there if you haven't found a legendary gem uh you know in a week or something like that uh you'll at the very minimum be picking up those runes to craft some of those gems um, and then another thing that i did want to also go over is the telluric uh, pearls which you can also uh, purchase every week and every month and acquire through different events which can you can also use to craft the five star legendary gems like the really difficult gems to acquire you can uh, craft those as well so even though it, it, they're really difficult to acquire you can pick them up um, over time and and i do think that it also makes it a very uh good way for easy uh free to play players to also pick up those really uh difficult gems um but i will say that they do take a really long time to level up to the next level um you know these gems basically can go all the way to rank 10 um and uh yeah i'll, I'll talk more about that you know in another video but i definitely wanted to just kind of show you guys uh, you know really quickly what the elder rift is like uh the gameplay itself um and uh yeah just basically try to get you guys to come in and join me in the game um, it's really really fun game and uh, despite the pay to win aspect to the legendary crust there are ways in which you can pick up these legendary five star gems um, and it is definitely um, you know somewhat uh, better than when it was a year ago when i started playing the game i actually left the game for about like eight months um, because you know it was just kind of boring at the time there were a lot of things i didn't enjoy about the game but since they've added so many different um, you know, social features, they've added the Heliquary Gauntlet, you know, they, they've made so many changes to the PvP, the PvP, 
Uh, they've added so many different play styles, so many classes. If you guys are interested, there is also going to be a brand new class coming to Diablo Immortal next week on July 18th. It's going to be the Blood Knight. Uh, so I definitely think this is probably like the best time for uh, a new player to come in and basically start playing Diablo Immortal. Um, so if you guys are interested in the game, uh, I highly recommend you guys to start up now. You know, just pick a class uh, that interests you. Uh, that, like I said, that there are six classes right now. There's the Barbarian, the Monk, uh, the Black Demon Hunter, uh, the Crusader, uh, and then the Necromancer. So definitely uh, a lot of fun things to, to play in general. Ooh, and we actually ended up getting a legendary 5-star jump here. Um, so if you see that white light, white light, you'll definitely get it. So it looks like we picked up another Starfire Shard, um, which is fine. Uh, I already have a 4-star um, uh, uh, Starfire Shard, which I do use, and I did rank up to rank 5 already. So we'll see what this one is. I'll probably just use it later on to level up uh, my current Starfire Shard. So let's see what the, the rarity level of the Starfire Shard is. Um, and let me go ahead and go here. All right, so we got a three-star Starfire Shard, which is pretty good, I think. Uh, you can also, you know, I can always use it for uh, leveling up my um, four-star uh, Starfire Shard here because it's got four out of five stars, so the quality is really good. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much all there is to the rifts and uh, the big pay-to-win feature. You know, you just essentially just get in there and try to pick up one of those uh, legendary five-star gems. Um, but other than that, guys, you know, there really is a lot to do as far as, far as activities. Um, every month, you'll end up doing uh, the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass has like a cosmetic feature to it. Um, it can give you different bonuses. Um, really, the biggest thing when it comes to the uh, Battle Pass is the perks that you get as far as uh, leveling up um, items, uh, picking up gear, gems, and things like that, and then always the, the cosmetic feature. It's about 15 bucks a month. I haven't purchased it uh, yet. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to purchase it. Uh, you know, when you do buy the um, Empowered Battle Pass, you'll just end, end up getting, you know, items. Uh, so it's just more of like a, a you know, a, a rewarding system for you guys to play um, consistently throughout the week. You can get like these hilts, which can be used to exchange for crests, um, gear, uh, to lyric pearls and things like that as well. So definitely a lot of fun things to do. Uh, quick tip for you guys, if you do buy the battle pass, it does also come with those legendary crests. Um, and you do end up getting the Fervent Fang gem, which is really good. Save these gems. This is probably one of the most broken gems in the game. It's very, very undervalued. Um, and uh, most people don't really understand how it really works. But essentially what it does is it gives you a set bonus amount of damage as you increase it. Uh, so every time you hit the boss, you'll get like a 1.7% increased damage from your attacks up to a maximum of 17%, which means that, you know, after you get those 10 stacks, you'll do 17% extra damage to any mob, um, especially bosses. It, it, it's really good for bosses and elites. Um, it gives you an extra 4.5% damage to those bosses and elites. So one of the best gems that you can level up. Uh, another gem that uh, did come out that's really good is the Mother's Lament, which gives you basically 18 seconds every minute to uh, increase critical rate. Um, and so it's it's really good. Um, if you're using it with five star legendary gems that are broken, such as the Blood Soak Jade, um, it can be really, really good. So definitely something uh, to, that I did want to break down to you guys. Uh, so really, it's really easy. It's really fun. The social aspects of Diablo Immortal make it one of the better games out there if you are a free-to-play player. Um, it really, it costs you absolutely nothing. Um, there's going to be plenty of whales within the game that can help you beat some of the harder content. Uh, Warband raids are really good. Almost everybody's always looking for active folks to come and join us in the game. Uh, you guys can see my Discord there. You know, we have plenty of people uh, in the Discord that do play Diablo Immortal as well. So I'll leave the link to the Discord down below. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them in the comment section down below. Um, of course, as always, I will be looking forward to playing with you guys in game. You can always find me uh, online. Um, it's definitely one of the better games to play. Um, and I really cannot emphasize enough how much fun it is to have the very good quality of life improvements that have happened in the past uh, year or so, especially to the chat features, the voice chat system, um, and then just overall the, the raids and the amount of content that there is to do. Um, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly here the activity calendar 
there is just so much stuff to do every single day. Um, there are, um, you know, two different types of clans. There's a shadow clan and there's your immortal clan. The immortal clan is essentially the top clan in the um, uh, server that you're in. Every week, you can essentially, the, the immortal clan can be knocked off the first um, slot. So there's always going to be competition between the shadows and the immortals, which does also make it really fun. Um, being a shadow has slightly better perks than being an immortal does, but the immortals do get slightly better rewards uh, when it comes to legendary quests and things like that. So you kind of have like your gives and your take takes, um, but it's re it makes it another really fun feature, you know, where your shadow clans are competing against each other to become the next immortals. Um, and really, again, there's uh, you know battlegrounds. You can you can fight against uh, immortals uh, in the vault. Uh, you can raid the vault. Um, you have Shadow War every single week. There are world bosses and world events that occur every week. You know, you have invasions where uh, the bosses will send enemies to a certain area. You can complete, you know, those, um, those little short quests and get, like, really good rewards. Uh, so there's just so much to do, and I'll be definitely loading up a lot more Diablo Immortal content for you guys. Uh, so definitely make sure that you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to join me in. Um, and if you want to learn more about builds and guides and gem qualities and, and tier lists and things like that, um, I'll definitely be loading up a lot more Diablo content here in the next couple of weeks. So I hope you guys enjoy the content and join me in for some more Diablo Immortal. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching my channel and I hope you guys stay subscribed. And I'll be seeing you guys um, in the next video. Thank you guys. Have a good time. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in game. Take it easy, guys.